Hello, hello, good evening, class. Hello. Hi, guys. Hola, chicos, ¿me escuchan? Vamos a conectar los audífonos porque no los escucho. un poco así que me cuesta un poquito escucharla ahorita ya cambié los audífonos está bien el consigo ahí no escucha bien chicas no Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Aquí está lloviendo bastante. Bueno, empieza a llover. Okay. So we're going to start guys, ladies and boys with our class. And just let me take that. Okay, let's Okay, uh, we're gonna start, ladies, with um, a speaking activity. Uh, just let me check something. Yeah, we always uh, <laughs> try to cover something. You know. So when we need to open something else, then we will let Okay, uh, nada más eh, confirmar de que estaba viendo ahí algunos, eh, el progreso de algunos de las plataformas y pues estamos poniendo el día con el día ya de la semana 2. Solamente son tres actividades hasta el día de hoy: Todo el lunes, martes y miércoles. Ahí dice que todavía teníamos algunos que todavía no habían iniciado. Entonces, nada más que eh, felicitarles que vayan chequeando en su ticket creo que es muy importante para que no se le pueda dando eh, actividades. Okay, so we're going to start, guys, with uh, an activity. Remember that in the previous class, we started 
Thank you. Uh, yes, more questions with the auxiliaries and that's. So just let me know if you can see that. Solamente me confirman si pueden ver, pueden se contar el blackboard. Remember that you have to select the correct auxiliary word, do or that. Can you see that? Me confirman, chicos. No, no se ve. No, no se ve, teacher. No. Se ve. Ahora sí. Okay. Good. Let's see. So let's start with another question two. So get ready. Do or that's uh, A or B. We go to school at eight o'clock. Mm. B. So what do you think, guys? It's A or uh, B? B. B, okay. B. B, B, B. B, right, B. B, B, B. Okay, two. Okay, anybody, what do you think about this one? To let B. it be. B. It's A. B. B. A. B. 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 Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's B. Good. Okay, so you have to select a card. Okay, can you select a card? One, two, three, four, or five? Two. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Three. Okay, so let's. Oh, okay. Yes, 15 points. I want you the, the one that says speed. Uh, 50 points is okay. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Do or does? A or B? B. 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 Excellent. Okay, we don't have problems with this. Okay, next question. What do you think? If you go to dance hey. class, hey. 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 hey, hey, you go to dance classes. Yeah, right. Hey, please. Hey. 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 Okay, guys. Which oh, one? Four. 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 Three. One. Four. Three. Ah. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. La perdieron, la perdieron. Okay. Let's see. Question seven. Chica, las badges. Las badges. Las badges. Hey. A. 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 She call it budget. Okay, yes. Budget, dollars, let's see. Budget. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Let's take the next one. That will be. That's baby. Excellent. That's he played volleyball. So the next one, uh, you're going to do the next one alone. Okay. El siguiente lo hacen solito porque creo que ya, ya. You don't have questions. Okay. Let's see. Question nine. Mm. A is do. A do. or B. Do. No. Do. Hey. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are one. You are one. Okay. Good. H S H. H S H. Ah. Ya lo perdí. Yeah, me too. I tried, but I couldn't. Yeah, it was then. Number five. Guys. Three. One. One. Five. One. 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 Okay, let's see if you're going to get some of the chicos. Oh, wow. So you finally got it. Okay, so you have to give me an answer quickly. Okay, the last one. Uh-huh. Um. Um. No, so, yeah. it's B. It's B. Yeah, that's right. Yes. So that was the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Muy tarde, pero salió. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was kind of late. Yeah, let's see. There's more. Yeah, no, no, we don't. So, plus. Okay, let's see. I think we have some more. Um, let me see. Oh, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna send you this one. Vamos a ver cómo le va en este, okay? Mm. Le voy a compartir el enlace, pero los que lo pueden hacer, háganlo y al final nos dicen cómo le fue, nos comparten una screenshot. Okay, teacher. Okay, so there it goes. Remember, you have to do the same. Lo mismo vamos a hacer. But in here, you have to hit the moves that are correct. Tienen que golpearle a los que son correctos, okay? Do she read? Do he have a pet? Do he play football? Do you jump? This way, así. Se le van pegando. I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, so that's what you have to do. Okay. Ya lo pueden abrir. Ya lo abrieron? Yes. Okay, so open it. And you have to hit the moles. Tienen que pegarles ahí. Los que lo están haciendo aquí conmigo, los que no están ahí viéndolo. Ya lo vamos a empezar de nuevo. Me van diciendo cuáles son las correctas, ¿ok? So here we go. Oh, no. Okay, so tell me the ones that are correct. Lean las que están correctas. Yes. Pago el tiempo. Tres, ¿ok? Buena. Computación. Ajá, another one, otra. Ya te sabes más concentrada, vale. Ya te bien, lee bien. Yo tengo sí. Me sigue. Yo es. Bananas. No, too late. Muy late, too slow. I was too slow. Yo qué. A la otra, one, otra. Oh, yeah. Vamos a ver si la escucho mejor aquí. Si no la escucho con el, con el, con el audio, con, con el audio.
does she read? Ajá. Uh -huh. Trece puntos nada más, teacher. Trece puntos, no, that's okay. Another one. So what do you think about this one? Wow. Do you like Messi? Yes. Okay, good. Another one. Amazing. <laughs> Does he have a mask? Okay, another one. Does she? Did you jump? Okay, good. What else? Dance no. Does no, he no. fly? Uh, 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 no le dé pena decirlo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. So now we're going to do the following. Vamos a, a continuar. Ya veo que ahí Gerardo me está viendo la de él también. ¿Cuánto sacó Gerardo? Seven. <laughs> ah, okay, seven. You, you won. No, no, no. Okay, so we're going to check something related to the verse. Vamos a ver algunos verbos because I need you to uh, talk to me about... I need you to talk to us about your uh, daily activity. So we're going to be checking your uh, some verbs related to routines. Entonces vamos a ver algunos verbos. Mm, ocho puntos, dice Vanessa. Good. You did it. Good. Okay. Entonces vamos a checar acá algunos verbos que necesito que ustedes ya vayan aprendiendo. Igual, este, por favor, recuérdenme enviarles la lista de estos verbos. So we're gonna practice this verse. So here you have uh, the first column is the simple present uh, form of the verb. Then you have the past tense plus the past participle. Besides that, you also have the meaning. Entonces tenemos verbo en presente simple, verbo en pasado y el verbo en pasado participio, más el significado en español de la forma más, uh, del infinitivo. Wake up, despertar. Oh, it's a point, Hana. Good. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, we're gonna start with the verbs. Ahorita nos estamos enfocando en la primera parte, que son los verbos en presente. Okay. So we're gonna be checking the pronunciation in the simple phrase. Entonces, empezamos nada más con esta parte, chicos. So I need you to listen and practice the verse with me because we're going to check at least two pages. Por lo menos vamos a practicar dos páginas. And yes, they yes. are like 60, okay? And uh, besides that, I need you to give me an example of that verse after we practice. Entonces, después de practicar, quiero que vayan dando ejemplos con esos verbos. Okay, listen. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Si alguien tiene dudas del significado, recuerden que está acá, ¿ok? So, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush. 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 Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Go. 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 Check. 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 Okay. 
Study. 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 No sé si les compartí este enlace, creo que ya, se lo, ya lo tienen ustedes. Okay. Study. Listen. Study. 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 Watch. Okay. Watch. Watch. Do. Remember. Do. 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 So I do, do. my homework. I do the dishes. I do. Um. Let's see the um, the laundry, for example. Make. 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 Listen. Make. 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 I make. make. Uh -huh. I make something. Make. Make. Shut. Yes. Chat. 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 Let's check that. The word chat. Katie, apaga esa tabla ya y se duerme, por favor. Chat. 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 Text. So let's continue with the next one. Text. text. Remember, text. Then text. 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 Play. 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 Cook. 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 Okay, so let's check that again. Maybe you have pro troubles with a letter K. So let's see. So we have cook. 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 Listen. Cook. 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 Right? Cook. Cook. Okay, so we have cook. Cook. Right? Cook. Call. 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 I'm calling you. Call, okay? Call. Come back. Listen. Come cool. back. Come, Come back. back. Come 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 Eat. 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 Okay. Drive. 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 Read. Read. Listen. Read. 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 And remember that in the past, the sound is different. Entonces, el pasado es diferente. El pasado Draw. es libre igual, pero... Uh, el verbo el leer en presente es read, en el pasado es red como el color rojo red red red, 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 red. red. igual el participio se va a leer igual se, lo, se los aclaro ahí porque se escribe igual en las tres formas entonces okay. nada más lo que cambia es la pronunciación read red and red, red. Drink, drink, yeah, drink 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 listen listen Listen, 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 listen to your boss. Listen, listen to the kid. Listen to somebody, right? Clean, 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 sleep, clean, clean, sleep, 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 okay? Again, so we check that again. Um... Okay, so we need to check the sound for the word uh, for uh, the word sleep. sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, sleep. sleep. So now I need you to think about one sentence using the following verb. So we start with wake up. Okay, quiero que me vayan poniendo ejemplos, me vayan dando ejemplos así. Um, 
um, right now. So give try to give me one example using any of these verbs, okay? For example, we start with wake up. Give me one example, anybody, one example. For example, I wake up at four o'clock. Example, give me one example. Dame un ejemplo. Wake up. Um, wake up at six o'clock. Okay, somebody else, alguien más? I wake up. Okay. I wake up, I wake up at, what time? I wake up. I wake up at um, morning. <laughs> okay, I wake up in the morning. Okay, yeah. In the morning. In the morning, in the morning. I wake in the up morning. in the morning. In the morning. Despierto en la mañana, right? So, okay, so I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Take a shower. So give me one example, somebody. So you can write your... Uh, your answer through the chat. También, lo que no lo pueden hacer ahorita, activar el micrófono, háganlo en el chat. Take a shower. So, uh, write one example or mention one example. Take a shower. One example. Vamos a ver. Astrid, one example. Using take a shower. Mm. I take a shower mm, before ¿Cómo sería, en, por ejemplo, entrar a una a la piscina, algo así, tomar un baño antes de entrar a la piscina? Before going into the pool. Before going into the pool. Before. Mami. Before going. The verb a go. Before a going. Voy a hacer algo. Así debería tener que ver con la rally. Going. Okay, going into. Ahí va separado. Sorry, I'm not really good at this. Dale, dale. Dale, dale. Um, no me sale muy bien los dibujitos. No. Kinder, no me sale. Okay. Before going into, before going into the, into the pool. Okay, another example. Vamos a ver los ejemplos. Uh, I love to take a shower. I take a shower in the morning. She takes a shower. She takes a shower. Carlos, can you read your example, Carlos? Take, take a shower, takes. Takes, take a shower, twist, take. Okay, okay, let me see. Yeah, Ellie, see. Ellie, read your example. Yeah, I take a shower in the morning. Okay, good. Let me see somebody else. Um. Okay, good. Let me see. I have, it says, I have a shower at 4 a.m. Great. Erica, read your example, Erica. Mm -hmm. Lo escribí en el chat, teacher. Okay. I take a shower at five, she said. Let's see the next one, brush. So give me one example using the verb brush. Somebody, brush, brush. Anybody? Brush. Brush. Uh huh. Brush. So, example, let me see. Brian, give me one example using the verb brush. Brian. Activate your microphone, Brian. Uh, he's a listener today. Let me see. Um, Vidal. Hi, Vidal. Give me one example using the verb brush. Activate your microphone. Vidal. Vidal, Vidal. Hello, Vidal. ¿Qué le pasó a Vidal? No sé si lo ven por ahí. Vidal, Vidal, example. Aha, I, uh -huh, I brush. My. I brush. I brush what? I brush. I. I brush my teeth. Okay. Cepillo mi dientes. I brush my teeth. What else? So what else can you brush? I brush. Before, my... before going to sleep. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so I brush my teeth before going to bed. Okay, let me see. The next bird we have a uh, get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Example, get dressed. 
Okay. So the friends can write yeah. examples through the chat. Pueden también hacerlo en el chat. Let's see. Volunteer. Get dressed. Uh, yes. Uh, before. Uh, Daisy. Daisy. One example using the verb get dressed. Before. Before. Um, I get dressed in the morning. Okay. okay. Great. Let's see. The next word is have breakfast. Help us with that word, please. Uh, Elni. My breakfast at the office. Okay. Have lunch, volunteer with have lunch, volunteer. Astrid, Glenda, example. I have lunch. Um, two, at, at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Erica she, says, uh, I get dressed before taking a shower. Before taking a shower. Okay, me sigo como te dije. Um, me enseñando para que vos lo puedas hacer. Okay, have dinner, volunteer. Let me see. Have dinner. So write your examples. Aide, help us, Aide. Me gustaría practicando cuando estás conversando con alguien. Aide, Aide. Example. Okay, have dinner, have dinner. Leí nos estaba compartiendo. Okay, let me see. Can, can I, I have dinner with my friends. Okay, Glenda, good. I have dinner with my friends. Okay, the next one, go. So think about one example. Let's say I have the verb go. So I go to a party. Go to a school. I go to school. I go to work. So where do you go? Give me one example. Vayan poniéndolo ahí en el chat también. Hector, one example using the verb go. Or I go to the gym. You go to the gym? Okay. Let me see. Nelson, example using the verb go. Activate your I go, I go to the work. Okay, so I go to work. I go to work. Good, Nelson. Sheila, example. Using the verb uh, go. Okay. Okay, de acuerdo, Guadalupe. Gracias por hacer nuestra idea. Uh -huh. I go, yeah, I go to the church, I go to the beach, I go to school, I go to work. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I want to go to the party, that's future. Uh, I go to work before 7 a.m. Carlos, Carlos, read your example, please. Excuse me? Read your example, Carlos. Before 7 a.m., I go to work. Uh -huh. 7 a.m., 7 a.m. Okay, so we continue with the next one. Check, check. So that means revisar. Check. check. So give me one example, guys, using the verb check. Vamos a ver, chicos. Ahí pongámonos las pilas con los verbos. Check. Um, I check. I shake, my I shake my car. Your car. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? I check my house. You check your house. What else? He check, check my homework. I check my You check your homework. homework. Okay. What else? What else? Erika, Gloria, Astrid, Carlos. What else? What else do you check? Jacqueline? Check your phone. Oh, okay. I check your phone. No, don't check my phone. <laughs> I, check, I check my chat. <laughs> oh, okay. I check my chat. Yes. Right. So I check somebody's phone. Okay, revisa el, el, el compañero, right? So I check my phone. <laughs> Classmates, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe you do it. Okay, so you check. Work, okay, so easy, easy bird. You already know that, work. I work on Mondays. How about you guys? Work. Vamos a, pasamos ahí con el siguiente, work. I and my friend 
uh, study English. Okay, my friend study English. And how about the verb work? Okay, ahora con este. Uh -huh. Work. Uh -huh. <laughs> trabajar. Um... I work empresa repuestos. Okay, good. I work for empresa repuestos. I work for, for, for. I work for empresa repuestos. I have work tomorrow. Okay, I have to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to work. I don't work on weekend. Carlos, read your. I have to work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Carlos, read your example. Carlos. I don't work on weekend. Okay, on weekends. Uh, let me see, Gerardo, give me one example using the verb work. I work from home. Okay, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Erika, example, Erika. En con cual con work siempre. Yeah, work. Uh, I work. Empresa repuestos, no me acuerdo si le había dicho. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay, la estamos confundiendo por la voz. Vamos a ver. Uh, Glenda, use the verb study. I study French. Glenda, your example. I don't study French. At night. <laughs> I don't like to study at night. Okay. Okay. What another example? It can be a positive or negative. I don't work on paper. Okay, so what's the Vanessa? What's paper? I don't know. I study English. You study English. What else? Somebody else? Jacqueline, Vanessa, Sophia, Shayla. Example. I just study for exam. I study for an exam. Okay, for an exam. I study English. I study English. Okay, great. So let's continue with the verb watch. Okay, what do you watch? I watch. I watch TV. Okay. What else? I watch. I watch TV. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, watch. What else? What else? Let's see. Gerardo, example. Yeah, watch. I watch. What? Watch. I watch Eclipse. <laughs> you watch an Eclipse. <laughs> you watch your computer. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so let's continue with the verb do. Do. Give me do. an example. Do. So, do. The verb do. Do wrong. Do wrong. Do, do, do. The verb do. Do. Uh -huh. do. do wrong. I do my homework every day. Mm -hmm. I do my homework every day. What else? What else do you do? I do my homework. I do the listening, I do my speaking activity, I do my job, I do my, I do the laundry, for example. About make, make. I do work. Uh -huh. What do you make? What do you make? Make. 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 So. What do you make? Make a slip? Mm. No, something that you can do. Um, let me see. I'm going to send you uh, a word so you can see them. Le voy a enviar una lista para que la vayan mandar en el chat. Se las mando ahorita porque no la puedo compartir directamente acá. Se las mando en el chat. Para que veamos ahí cómo utilizar el verbo do y el verbo make, porque su traducción es igual, ¿verdad? Hacer. Okay. A ver, está ahí en el chat. Esto. 
Ahí. Bueno, ahí les envié una imagen. Vamos checándola. Do versus make. The difference between, between do and make. Do, work, jobs, or tasks. Miren, trabajo, empleos y tareas. Por ejemplo, tareas de la casa. Do the housework. Hacer el oficio. Do the housework. Todos están en la, ima, en la, en la página de, en la imagen que les compartí. Sí. Ok. Yes. Do the housework. Do your homework. Do a good job. Do your chores. Son tareas. Okay. Tareas que se nos asignan en okay. la casa, el hogar, el empleo. O, eh, bueno, trabajo, dice. Uh, actividades no específicas. Por ejemplo, do something, do nothing, do anything, nothing. everything. Entonces, actividades no específicas. Uh, por ejemplo, haz algo. Do something about it. Haz algo al respecto. Do something. Do nothing. No hagas nada. So do nothing, nothing, do nothing, no hagas nada, do anything. Uh, so it means do uh, something, as algo, right? So do anything, do everything, hazlo todo. So do everything. So you ask, ask todo lo que te pide, right? Do everything. Replace verb when obvious. Do your hair, do the dishes, do the exams, do the laundry. Entonces también tenemos ya eh, do Sí, algunas expresiones uh, bueno, son ya son bien siendo expresiones reemplazar el verbo cuando es obvio uh, hacer tu cabello es decir, peinarse do the dishes, lavar los platos do the exam, uh, do the laundry es uh, hacer, lavar la ropa y tenemos um, al otro lado ok, el la primero que tenemos es make con comidas, bebidas y uh, comida, bebidas y tiempo de comida, por ejemplo make a cake y se viene refiriendo a cosas como más eh, eh, manuales. Haz un pastel, make breakfast, haz el desayuno, make dinner, haz la cena, va a ser la cena, make a cup of coffee, haz una tacita de café, tu taza de café. También lo podemos utilizar para indicar el origen de algo, pero aquí ya está en pasado. Acá hay solamente, no sé si ustedes fijaron que en los, usualmente en algunos productos, Abajo dice, ¿a dónde fue hecho? Hecho de, de oro. Hecho de, made of grapes. Un vino puede ser. Made in China. Hecho en China. Made by me. Okay? Hecho por mí. Entonces, es para indicar el, el origen de un producto material. El made. Ok. Uh, produce a reaction. Um, también tenemos algunas expresiones como, que, que nos indican eh, producir una reacción. Make your eyes a water, hacer que llore a alguien, right? So make your eyes water, make you happy, hacer feliz a alguien, make you sleepy, hacer que se duerma a alguien, so she's making me sleepy, right? Make you smile, hacer sonreír a alguien. También lo utilizamos para hablar de planes y decisiones. Por ejemplo, make arrangements, hacer una... Eh, reuniones, eh, calendarizaciones o acuerdos, algunas actividades, make a decision, tomar una decisión o make a decision, make a choice, hacer una elección, make a plan, hacer un plan. And también lo podemos utilizar el make con um, sonidos, por ejemplo, make a noise, make a comment, make a speech, make a suggestion, hacer un ruido, un comentario, un discurso, una sugerencia. Esos son los que tenemos ahí con make. También tienen, ustedes les compartí otra donde están sí, otros ejemplos. Entonces, el do también, eh, pásense a la otra imagen. El do también lo vamos a utilizar con estudio y trabajo. Do homework, do work, do business, do an assignment, do a course. Estudio y trabajo. O sea, tarea, trabajo, hacer un negocio, hacer una tarea, hacer un curso. Luego, también lo podemos utilizar con deportes, hobbies y cuidado personal. Do some exercise, haz algo de ejercicio, do yoga, do highlights, vamos a quitar eso, I don't know how to do, do pilates, but I don't know how to pronounce that, so let me check that. Yeah, then we have do karate, do your hair, do your nails, hacer las uñas, hacer... Let me see. Y hacer las uñas. 
hacer las uñas, eh, ajá, hacer, arreglarse el cabello, do your hair. Entonces, pueden utilizar el do con deportes, eh, pasatiempos y actividades relacionadas al cuidado personal, como hacer su cabello, hacer, hacer las uñas también, las ladies ahí. Good or bad things también para... Ya, ya está, Pero ahí va... Ahí en los primeros dos van con un adverbio. Hacerlo bien. So, do well. Okay? Hacer bien. So, hacer algo bien. Do badly. So, you will see what happened. Hazlo mal and you will see what happened. Y vas a ver los resultados. Vas a ver qué pasa. Do something, do nothing. Lo que mencionamos anteriormente. Haz algo, no hagas nada. Ok. So, do nothing. Ok. Do nothing. So, do your algo. best. <laughs> so, do nothing. Don't do it. Ok, do your best, haz lo mejor, haz lo mejor que tú puedes. So, haz, ya, yeah, do your best, do, do too much, haz mucho o demasiado. Y tenemos, tenemos actividades y tareas, tareas del lugar o actividades repetitivas. Por ejemplo, do the dishes, lavar los platos, do the laundry, lavar la ropa, la lavandería. Um, con las maquinitas, ¿verdad? con las washing machines. Do the shopping, um, hacer las compras. Do the ironing, uh, que es eh, planchar. Okay. Planchar. So do the ironing, do housework, que es hacer todos los lo oficios de la casa. Ahora, tenemos acá nuevamente el make, ¿verdad? como comida, bebidas y algo, algo que implique preparar algo. Por ejemplo, make lunch, make dinner, make breakfast, make a cake, make a coffee, make a sandwich, make a snack, hacer un sandwich, hacer un, okay, un café, hacer un pastel, hacer el almuerzo, la cena, lo utilizamos con make. Ahora, arrangements and decisions. Pasemos ahí el otro cuadrito. Recuerden que arrangements son actividades programadas, calendarizadas, arrangements. Y decisiones, hacer una reunión, make an appointment, make plans, hacer planes, make a list, hacer una lista, make a choice, make a decision, make a mistake. Cometer, hacer un error, ya, cometer un error. Ya. Okay. Acá, recuerden que no literalmente, no lo voy traduciendo literalmente. Por ejemplo, make a choice quiere decir tomar una decisión, ¿verdad? Es hacer una elección. Uh, make a decision, tomar una decisión, make a mistake, cometer un error. Pero los van utilizando ustedes con make. Luego, tenemos ahí speaking, sounds, and relationships. Entonces, aquí nos agrega más. Aparte de hablar y el sonido, nos indica eh, eh, relaciones. Make a promise. Hacer una promesa. Make a phone call. Make a joke. Hacer un chiste. En el ventilador, apagarlo. Suggestion. Hacer una sugerencia. Make an excuse. Make a noise. Make a plan. Sí, y la última que tenemos eh, que sería make a lot of money, hacer en relación a dinero hacer mucho dinero make ten dollars in an hour por ejemplo si les preguntan cuánto cuánto ganas a la hora so, I make ten dollars an hour okay, hago diez dólares en una hora so make a living Uh, so these are some of the expressions that you can use with make. Entonces ahí ya tienen una idea hasta de cuándo utilizar el do versus el make. En general diríamos que el do serían con eh, actividades o tareas y actividades no específicas. Eh, también para hacer comidas. Y el, el oh, oh, perdón, ese sería el make. El make también para indicar eh, decisiones. Y para indicar ahí sonidos también. O la preparación de algo. Ok, continuamos entonces con, con Luis. Ya no nos trajemos ahí bastante. Pero I, I suggest you to study that. So let's continue with uh, chat. Chat. Ok, so let's continue with the verb chat. So try to give me one example using the verb chat. Chat. Ok. Chat. Chat. What is that? So give me one example using the very chat. O sea, todos ahí con sus ejemplos en el, en el chat. <laughs> the meeting. So give me one example using the very chat. For example, I chat with, I don't know, it's definitely the name. So I chat. Yeah? 
chat with my girlfriend. Chat with your girlfriend. Okay, somebody else. Chat. I chat my mother WhatsApp. Okay, through WhatsApp. Okay, good. Somebody else chat. So this uh, text, it's basically similar text. And play. So let's see. Let's continue with the word play. Play. I chat with my mother every day. Yes, I chat with my mother. I chat with my son. Good. Uh, let's see. So let's continue with the verb play. Play. So what do you play? I play. I play, guys. Play, play. I, I play soccer. I play soccer. Where else? I play soccer. Sheila, example, Sheila, Nelson, Katya. Katya, hi Katya, give me one example, Katya. I play, oh, Astrid, read your example, Astrid. I play Candy Crush. Okay. Yeah, díganos. ¿Qué nivel va? Candy Crush. Um, okay, Amado, uh, good, Amado, play video games. Erica, I play with my mother. Hey, Nelson, read your example, Nelson. Read I your example. Uh -huh. Chess, chess, I play chess. chess. Elni, your example, Elni. I play with my cat. I play with my cat. Okay, so we love cats. Cook. Okay, so let's see the bird cook. Cook. Yeah, what do you cook, guys? Yes, tell me, tell me. I cook a glass of water. I do like cooking uh, you do your cooking okay so you cook um okay well, so what do you cook i cook chicken i cook rice i can cook what else, what else? i'm hungry you know yeah maybe i'm hungry maybe so what do you cook carlos what do you cook do you cook carlos so what do you cook hector tell us hector like okay. I cook I, the chicken. I cook the cake. No sé si para el cake también se puede uh, mm. mencionar como Podríamos, cocinar. Podríamos utilizar bake como hornear. Bake. Ah, okay. I bake a cake. Hornear un pastel. Okay, so you bake a cake and you cook chicken. Okay, so that sounds attractive. Okay, so maybe we can visit you on Christmas. Chicos, ¿ya saben dónde ir para Navidad? Because Hector can cook. Carlos, your examples. I cook lasagna. Lasagna, Nelson. I cook spaghetti. Spaghetti, okay, <laughs> great. So, I cook chili beans. Chili beans, okay, so, okay. Yeah, it sounds attractive too and delicious. Ana Gloria, your example? Ana Gloria, your example. Let it in the chat, Ana. So the bird cook. Okay, so let's move on into the next one. Call. Call. I call my mother. You call me baby. <laughs> you call your mother. Okay. Somebody else. So who do you call? Vamos a ver, ¿quién llaman? So I call my mother. I call my friend. I call my boss. I call clients. I call people. Clients. My son. My son. Okay. I call my son. My clients. I call my clients. Or clients. Or clients. Hey, clients, yes. So who do you call? Who do you call? Vamos a ver, ¿quién llaman? So Carmen, tell me, Carmen, 
uh, Brian, uh, Katia, Sofia, Shayla. Sofia, tell me, who do you call? Sofia. Call, the very call. Call me my mother. You call your mother, okay? No. Vanessa, who do you call? <laughs> Vanessa, call. Client. Where is Jacqueline? Okay, so let me check the chat. Uh, Gerardo, call my clients. Okay. I call, let me see who else. My grandfather every day. Good. Carlos. Hi. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, that's great. So let's continue. We have some more verbs. Vamos a pasar a la siguiente. Okay, tenemos algunos por aquí. Come back. So, come back. So, what are some examples that you can give me? Come back. I come back at 5 p.m. Regreso a las 5. So, I come back at 5 p.m. Please don't go. I come back. I come back. I come back is 5. At Five at five. I come back. I come back at. I come back. At five. At. Listen. At. 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 I fight. At. 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 Come back at the hour. At. 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 So I come at. back at three. Uh, Astrid, read your example. Astrid. I come back at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay, good. Uh, Carlos, what time do you come back home? I come back at uh, half past six. Okay, Shayla, what time do you come back? Um, what come back? Come back um, seventeen p.m. Okay, so I come back at seven seven p.m. Seven. I come back. I come back at seven p.m. I don't go. I come back at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And yes, yeah. Eh, sería correcto si si dijes um, I come back um, um ne next year. Tendríamos que pasarlo a futuro, agregarle el will. I will come back. Lo, lo, lo pongo ahí en el chat. I will come back uh -huh. next year. Sí, regresaré okay. el próximo año. Ok. Thanks, teacher. Uh, Carlos, ok. También vi un, un ejemplo que pusieron por ahí que dice que yo nunca regreso. Ah, ok. Entonces, <risa> Entonces, ahí tiene que cambiar, tiene que ubicar eh, sujeto, después va el adverbio de frecuencia, nunca. I never come back, ¿ok? I, I never, never come back. back, ah, vaya, esa es la idea. Estamos preparando realmente. No perdemos aquí. I never come back, ¿ok? I never come back. Um, entonces, ¿por qué? Porque no podemos tener nosotros dobles negativos. Es decir, que uh, si usted ubica una versión negativa y agrega un adverbio de frecuencia que indica 0%, está uh, duplicando la negación. Esto le llama doble negativo. Uh, entonces, no puedo ubicar. I don't never combat. ¿Okay? Ahí debo de modificarla porque está incorrecta. Tengo dos veces algo negativo. Yo nunca, yo nunca regreso. Para decir eso es, estamos sujeto y luego el adverbio de frecuencia, pero la estructura es positiva. I never come back. 
Entonces, ya solamente con el adverbio de frecuencia. Eso no. Entonces, cuando ustedes utilizan un adverbio que indica cero cantidad o nunca, recuerden que la estructura va positiva. Ahí en Vean este ejemplo. El there are, el there are significa no hay. Este significa no hay. Negativo. No hay, por ejemplo, there are any books. Libros. No hay libros. Ya sabemos que acá tenemos una contracción del verbo to be. Okay. There are any, any books. Pero si yo ubico un quantifier o algo que me determine mi que hay cero cantidad de libros. I never come back. I never come back. Esa sí es la primera. Neither. Por ejemplo, ven acá. Yo nunca regreso. Ustedes. Tienen Yo nunca regreso. Así dijiste. Ok, solo un ratito. Entonces, acá, si, si ustedes tienen acá una estructura negativa, ya no está diciendo, no hay libros, ¿verdad? There are any books, no hay libros. Pero acá, miren, acá podemos ver que está la negación, el not contractado. Pero puedo hacer lo siguiente también, utilizar una estructura positiva y agregar un quantifier que me ayude a mí a hacer una oración negativa o indicar, más bien me ayuda a indicar cero cantidad o quantifier. Entonces, ahí agregándole ese no, me está indicando que no hay libros. There are no books. Y tengo una estructura positiva. O sea, lo único que me ha cambiado acá es que ubique este quantifier que me indica eh, qué cantidad. ¿verdad? Entonces, si me dice que no, no hay libros, there are no books. Entonces, eso, algo parecido ocurre acá, cuando decimos I never come back. Es una estructura positiva, pero lleva ahí el frequency average, no necesitamos, no necesitamos ponerle el don, Entonces, Yo nunca regreso, it's clear. Ok, questions, preguntas. Continuamos. So, I never come back. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's continue with the next one. Eat. So what do you like to eat? Or what do you eat? I eat papaya in the Florida Nacional of El Salvador. <laughs> National flower is the uh, flower subject. So what do you eat? What do you eat? Yes, somebody, what do you eat? What do you eat? So what do you normally eat? Eat. Yes, somebody. Activate your microphone. Está en silencio su micrófono. Okay. I eat pupusas every day. Okay, so you eat pupusas every day. Good. So what's your favorite pupusa? What else? Anna, yeah. Um, I eat hamburgers. 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 Okay. Hamburgers or burgers. Hamburgers. Hamburgers or burgers. 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 Yeah, burgers. I eat burgers. Yeah. I eat burger king. I eat a burger in Burger King. Hamburger. 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 And the other one is burger. Does this kiss it in a hamburger? Um beef burger. Does it mean in British English we also have beef burger? Does it mean in in Brit in English Britannico say it beef burger? Beef burger. Um, beef well, beef into small pieces and made into a flat or in the shape that is the then fry if it's or both. So it's a burger. Then let me see ground beef, <laughs> hamburger meat, ground beef, or North American English, British English. 
Let's see, we have burger as well. Amazon burger. Okay, listen. Burger. 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 Okay, let's see. Um, the next one we have drive, drive, drive. Listen, drive. I try. Drive. drive. I drive. I drive. My mom. Michael, what do you drive? Drive. Drive. My car. Drive my house. Un helicóptero, escucha por ahí. I drive. I drive motorcycle. Okay. So you ride a motorcycle or you drive. Drink. What, like favorite drink. what do you drink? You drink coffee, I drink chocolate, and how about the rest? What do you drink? I drink Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, okay. I drink water. Water, yeah, water. Listen, so tell me about, now tell me about something that you listen, that you like to listen. I listen. I listen music. I listen to music. I listen to the class. I listen to music. The class. I listen. I what listen. What else do you listen, guys? What else do you listen? Let's see. Let's check the chat. Uh, okay. So what do you listen? I listen to. Let me see. It's salsa music. Okay. I listen to salsa music. I listen to my father. I listen to my mother. I listen to my boss. Okay, and then we have the very clean and sleep. Okay, so I think we're going to stop in here because there are many verbs. Okay, so we're just going to check uh, the last uh, part, but just the pronunciation. Entonces, nos vamos a quedar con esto, solamente con la pronunciación y luego seguimos ya con el uh, speaking. Listen, right, right, right. Right, right. Right, right. Right, right. Right, I ride a horse, I ride a motorcycle, I ride a bicycle, I ride something, right? Right. 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 Small vehicles. Usualmente son vehículos pequeños los que podemos eh, andar en, right? Right. Get, 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 a race, I get a bonus on Christmas, I get my passport, I get my identification card. I get I get sick. <laughs> I get sick. I get sick sometimes. Give, listen, give, 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 I give you something. I give you a present. I give you uh, my heart. No, no. I give. Uh... I give you, okay, no sé qué le queda, no sé. I give you uh, money, I give you ten my, heart. my heart, okay, <laughs> I give, what else, what else do you give, give, I give, I give, give you the power, I give, I give my pencil, my pencil, I give a cup of coffee, I give money, I give the uh, papers, okay. I give something, right? Give that, me the power, give me the diamond. Uh, so, C, okay, the next one is C, C, okay, C. B. C. B. B. I see you, okay? Te veo, I B. see you, I see what you're doing. I see you, I see you, I see you okay? Te veo. Okay, so I, I see you tomorrow. Uh, okay, I said, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. I will I see, will you. see you tomorrow. Uh, okay, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Entonces, aquí I will see you tomorrow. Okay, te veré mañana. Tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. 
the next one is uh, look, 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 can we check that again? Look. Look. Listen. Look. 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 Me, Mira, look at me, look at me, look at you. Look at me. Right? So look. Look. Sure, Mira, right? Look at her. Look at that person. Mira, esa persona. Look at that boy. Look at that paper. Look at that ladder. Look at that, uh, I don't know, look at that box. Okay, Mira, esa cara. So look. So look means observar, right? So look. So look something intentionally. Mira, Distinctly, right? Look. Uh, take. Uh, um, the take. Take. La diferencia entre sí y look. Take. La diferencia entre sí y look es que sí es uh, ver por medio de los sentidos, es decir, percibir lo que está en nuestro alrededor por medio de los sentidos. Look es algo más intencional. So look, look at, look at her. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, look at her, uh, mírala a ella, es decir, con el sentido de cuidarla o observarla intencionalmente look right take mm -hmm. so we continue with take listen take 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 i take a shower take. i take a bath i take the bus i take a uh, some money. Taxi. i take a taxi i take a bus so you take says so toman toman algo so, right so yes. take uh my money okay think seven think Think, think, think. think. I think about think. what do you think, think. about? Cuéntenme uh, sobre qué piensan. I think about what? I think about my future. So what do you think about? I think about my my future my, wife. No. I think about <laughs> my future. Uh, uh, I don't know. Some someone. Okay, so what do you think about? I think about my son, maybe. I think about... Uh -huh. So what do you think about? I think about my future, my son, my job, my mother. I think about... I think about the visa. The about this family. What do you think about? I think about... Tell me, what do you think about? Pienso sobre mi futuro, mi hijo, mi trabajo, mi visa. What do you think about? I think about work. Work, okay. So you think about work. What else? What else do you think about? Sheila, Sofia, Glenda, what do you think about? I think, I think my future. Your future, okay. Brian, let's see what Gerardo, what do you think about Gerardo? What is Gerardo? I think about the family. About. I think. I think about the family. Uh, can you repeat that? I think about me. My. My. Alguien preguntó algo, pero no alcancé a escuchar. ¿Se repite? Perdón. Es que yo preguntaba cómo se dice examen en, en inglés. Ah, examen. 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 I think in my progress. Okay. I think in my progress. I think about my progress. I think about. I think about evaluation. You think about the evaluation. Think about. Okay, think about. Esta, about my, es suavecita, no, 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 es así, fuerte. No, es, think about. Think about. Think about. Think about. Think about. Incluso a veces no lo van a escuchar. Think about. 
think about think about my promise think about my job think about my future think about my son think about my job my business think about my loan estamos hablando de ese verbo que es pensar yo pienso pensar sobre qué pienso qué estás pensando Think about in Hamburg. Your house, your new house. That's all. What do you think about? I think about in new work. My, uh, I think I think about a new uh, job. For example, I think about a new job. I think about a new job. I think about a new job. Job, job, job. job. So I think job. about my Christmas. Think about yes. think about my Christmas. Yeah, I'm thinking about Christmas too. Hey, Carlos, what do you think about? Do you think about Christmas or sales? I think about Aguinaldo. <laughs> en el Aguinaldo. <laughs> okay, no. It's good. <laughs> think about this. <laughs> Okay, Christmas bonus. Okay. Christmas. Christmas bonus. I think about my Christmas bonus. Okay. Bonus. Yeah, yeah. I think about myself. Yourself. Okay, great. So now I know what you think about. Great. So we all think about some similar ideas. Okay. Uh, wash. Listen, wash. Wash. Okay, acá. Um, no vamos a wash my hair. Quiero con el verbo wash. Okay. Recuerden que se termina en ese H es lavar. Wash. 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 Okay. Tenemos dos posiciones. Estas notas una suena como una. Wash. 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 Wash, 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 wash. El otro era el verbo vero, mira, watch. Igual. Watch. 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 Fine. Learn, 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 right, learn, learn, right, 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 Right. right. Listen. Walk. 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 Can. 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 So this is the modal verb. Can. This is verbo modal para indicar habilidad. Can. 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 I can do it. You can do it. You can take a shower and um. Let's see. At three. 3 a.m. Right. <laughs> and then you have the verb want. Okay. Can. La pronunciación del verbo y querer. ¿Esa? Want. 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 Need, need, like, like, talk, 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 speak, 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 remember, 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 I remember my, remember. Okay, I remember, remember, 
Remember. Remember, remember, I don't remember. No me acuerdo, se me acuerdo. Remember, recordar. Understand, 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 understand. Mm -hmm. understand. 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 Okay, again, I'll play that. Understand. Well, I have understand. Understand, understand, understand. 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 Right. Understand. understand. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, understand. 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 Yeah. Understand. 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 Uh -huh. So that's the difference between the rich British and American. So say, um, well, I show you this because you, you have to know, right? Understand. 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 You right. I spend um some day on Hawaii. I spend quiere decir gastar o pasar también. I spent. Okay, lo, lo vamos a poner aquí en pasado. I spent some day um in Hawaii. Pasé algunos días en Hawaii. Right. Entonces, spend, gastar o pasar. Try. Then we have the verb try. Es intentar o probar. Try. Uh, try. Try. Try my patience. Try. <laughs> I try. Try my patience. Try something. Try this. Swim. 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 Start. Star. Star. Say. 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 Okay. okay, so now we'll continue. We have some more things to do. Let me see. Okay. I want to see. Oh. Oh. Okay, right now I need you to practice with somebody and uh, you have to discuss some of the activities that you usually do in the morning or in the afternoon, okay? For example, so here we have the dialogues. Good morning, Mr. Gonzalez. Good morning, Mr. Alex. Uh -huh. um, hi, somebody says, what do you do in the morning? So good morning, Mr. Gonzalez or Miss. Entonces, ahí depende de un señorita o un caballero. Vamos a agregar los títulos. Por ejemplo, Mr. White. Por ejemplo, señor White. Uh, good morning, Mr. White. Good morning, Miss uh, López. What do you do in the morning? Good morning, Mr. Let me see. In the morning, I, so you had to uh, write activities that you do. I go to work. In the morning, I go to work. In the morning, I check my email. In the morning, I call clients. So that's what you have to do. You have to think about the activities that you do in the morning and the activities that you do in the afternoon. What about the afternoon? What do you what do you do in the afternoon? Well, in the afternoon, I I have lunch. I, 
2 p.m. I check the payroll and send emails, for example. Entonces, en la tarde, almuerzo, eh, reviso la nómina y envío correo. So that's what you have to do. You have to create this dialogue. Think about the activities that you normally do during the morning and the afternoon. So at least try to think about, uh, let me see, 10 activities that you do in the morning and 10 activities that you do in the afternoon. O sea, en, el, en los grupos, te lo voy a hacer en los grupos. Um, but you have to start thinking about 10 activities that you do in the morning and 10 in the afternoon. Entonces, tiene que ser 10 actividades de la mañana y 10 de la tarde. And then you're going to use this uh, picture in order to uh, create, recreate the dialogue. Entonces, luego vamos utilizando este, estos dialogues para recrear su conversación. Ya con las actividades que usted va a hacer 10 de la mañana y 10 de la tarde. So, questions. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. No more. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So, let's do it, guys. So, let's join the breakout rooms. Toma la captura y compártalo con sus compañeros. Ok, chicos, los demás, vamos a ver, eh, me indican, por favor, eh, Astrid, Beatriz, Brian, eh, Carmen, Gerardo, Daisy, Glenda, Aide, Katia y Nelson. Hola, hola. Hola, hola, Gerardo. No le aparece. Sí. No. A mí no me pareció tampoco, ¿no? Y ahorita les apoyo, chicos.
Hola chicos, me avisan si um, Beatriz, Brian, Daisy, Nelson, me avisan para enviarlos a, a un grupo. Si no me escriben en el chat. Yo estaba en un grupo, pero solo estaba ahí. Solita estaba, hey, Daisy, vaya, ahorita Daisy. Sí, sí, a mí no me dejó entrar, este solo decía cargando. Ah, vaya, vaya. ¿En qué grupo? ¿Con quiénes estaba? No, es, no le decía nada. Hola, no me aparecía nada. No, vaya, ahorita entonces. Carlos, vamos. Sí, tuve un inconveniente y me salí de la plataforma, pero ya. Ajá, sí, sí, no me va a desaparecer. Vaya, chequea ahorita. Brian, Brian, no sé, Brian. Hola. Hola, Brian. Lo voy a enviar al grupo 4. Hola, Juan. 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 Me report. Ventas, no me acuerdo cómo es ventas. Ventas, ventas, ventas. No me acuerdo. Te lo buscamos. Uh -huh. ¿El qué, ¿El perdón? Era? Ventas. <ríe> ¿Por qué no hablan? Ajá, <ríe> porque no he dicho nada. Pensamos que no ventas, nosotras dos. Ventas o ventas. No, no, por acá, por acá estoy. Das Jason, es el... Creo bien, Carlos, Gerardo. Sí. No. Ah, Carlos, ya hizo su, 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 yo creo que es de eso. La de sí, ojo. Yes. Vale. ¿Quién empieza hoy? Hoy que empiece. ¿Quién son ustedes? ¿Quién son los caballeros? <risa> Muy bien. Conmigo, Carlos. Ok, listo. También. Démosle. Uy, no, bien. <risa> listo. I question you. Eh, Mr. Ibáñez, what do you do in the morning? Good morning, Mr. Yes. Vasquez. Okay. In the morning, I breakfast. Uh -huh. I call my clients. Okay. No, I really? visit my clients. Okay. Um, Only, solo eran tres o eran más? Three. Okay. And what about afternoon? What do you do in the afternoon? Well, in the afternoon, drink coffee. Okay. Tell why my ¿Cómo se dice compañeros? Es um, neighborhood 
neighbor, neighbor, uh, classmates, classmates, okay. huh? compañeros Class de trabajo o ah, coworkers, coworkers, co, uh, ah. co well, como co workers, co okay, workers, okay. Co workers, work, como trabajo y le agregan el e r e r s Co workers. Co workers. Co-workers. Co-workers. Co workers. Co workers. Co workers. Okay. Ahí, ahí se los mandan. Ahorita. Okay. Co-workers. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo van, chicos? Hola. Este... Ahí está. Bien. Ya lo tengo, pero estaba esperando a alguien que me dijo que le faltaba un poco. Ah, ok, no hay problema. En la tarde, I have lunch at 2 p.m. Quiero ver. I call, I call clients, cli 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 clientes, clients, and mm -hmm. I study English. Ah, okay. Ahí está, Glenda, Sheila. Eh, yeah, ahora no sé si quiere practicar Elmi con Sheila. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sheila. What do you do in the morning? Um, good morning, Master, master Witt. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Miss Elmi, um, sería. Miss Elmi. Ah, Miss Elmi. Mm -hmm. Okay. It had to be a rally. Good break, fire. Y la otra, no, 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 la otra no la hice. Vaya, con otras actividades está bien. Uh -huh. What do you do the afternoon? What do, what do you do in the afternoon? Ahora va a usar otra vez el ni dígale well. Well. Um, after. Uh -huh. Y dígale lo que usted hace. O lea lo que está ahí, no hay problema con eso también. Look and to the to be and can the player and set muy bien. Le voy a preguntar ahora a Astrid. Ok. Bueno, sería, good morning, Miss Astrid. What do you do in the morning? Good morning, Miss. Ay, su nombre. <risa> Ay, Dios mío, es que no las estoy viendo, solo estoy viendo aquí el chat. Bye. Good morning, Miss Glenda. Eh, I in the morning wake up, I brush my teeth, I call the clients, eh, I go to work, y I drive my motorcycle. Ay, qué chévere. <laughs> sí. <Puede. laughs> sí. Ah, yo estoy aprendiendo. Ah, sí, ya va a ver qué rápido va a aprender. <laughs> okay, vamos con la otra. What a, what about What about the afternoon? What do you do in the afternoon? Well, in the afternoon, I have a lunch at 1 p.m. I come back to home. I watch TV. Uh, I have a cook. I go to bed. Yo creo que estamos, este, no sé si van a practicar ahora 
eh, que él ni le pregunte a... Ya nos están llamando. No sé si lo vamos a repasar antes. Sí, yo digo que sí, solo lo que yo no entendí es la plática que inicia allí, donde decía, Good morning, Mr. White, Mrs. López. What do you do in the morning? Yo no sé si se refería que uno es para, para decir el nombre y el otro como el apellido. Eso no lo entiendo muy bien. Daisy. ¿Cómo? Ya en la conversación en sí, donde, donde estaba el texto, donde estaban los dibujos, te decía, good morning, Mr. White y Mrs. López. What do you do in the morning? Ella tiene que contestar. Good morning, Mr. White. In the morning. Hicimos la lista que nosotros el primero, hemos creado. El primero le pregunta qué hace en la mañana y el otro responde. Pero ¿por qué ponen los sí. dos nombres? Ahí me confundía yo. Oh, otro. Mr. White y Mrs. López. No, sí, tampoco no lo he entendido. Pero sí, le pregunta, este, ¿qué haces en la mañana? Y el otro responde, buenos días, eh, en la mañana. Y ya comienza a decir lo que hace. Ajá, listado. Ajá. Practicamos entonces lo que hemos escrito. Amado. Sí, démosle. Entonces, yo le voy a preguntar y usted me contesta ahí. Ok, permítame. Good morning, um, me avisa. Eh, démosle. Good morning, este, Mr. Vidal. Eh, pero yo creo que ahí, ahí el primero, creo. Ajá. Ahí creo que usted solo me contó. O sea, bueno, ahí creo, good morning, ahí creo que Vidal. va... Seguido va. En el primero Seguido, solo. ¿no? Tiene que leerlo todo. Ah, ya. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Vidal, Mr. Eh, Brian. What do you do in the morning? Good morning, Mr. Nelson. Uh, in the morning, I get, I get a, a, a sit. I get up at six at night. Uh, I go to work. I check my work student. I make calls. I make calls. What about the afternoon? What do you do in the afternoon? Uh, well, in the afternoon, I have lunch at 1 p.m. I drink coffee at Uh, 3 p.m. and uh, return at home at 6 p.m. Ok. Yo solo, yo solo esas tres puse. Está bueno. Pero así sería, va. Sí, así sería. No sé si lo van a... No sé si lo van a... Practicar otro. Ya vieron que ahí están mandando al grupo las actividades y, y han puesto 10 más o menos. Uh -huh. 
Hello guys, welcome back. Let's see. So now we are going to continue with some more activities. And we're going to be checking part of the book, which is um, analyzing some of the job positions at work. But besides that, uh, we're going to have some listening. Okay, so just let me check that. Yes. Just let me open that. So here we have it. The book is in the platform. So we're going to open that. So it says, uh, listen to the teacher, read the following job positions, then match them with the activities they perform. So we have some job positions such as bookkeeper, financial analyst, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, and software engineer. So we're going to be checking what is the correct definition for each of these job positions. ¿Cuáles serían las definiciones correctas para cada uno de estos uh, job positions? So the first one, we have bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. What is a bookkeeper? Do you know what a bookkeeper is? ¿Alguien sabe qué es un bookkeeper? Anybody? Bookkeeper. 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 So number one, yeah. So try to look for that, but I'm gonna give you the the meaning. So keep track of the financial accounts of company. So it is. Let me see. Contador. Bookkeeper. Contador. So that's a bookkeeper. So that's a bookkeeper. It's um auxiliar contable. So that's a bookkeeper. Um, let's see. Uh, B, what is a financial analyst? Financial analyst, which could be the best definition, financial analyst, analyst financiero. So what, financiero, correct. Uh -huh. So what could be the correct definition for financial analyst? So think about it. So we have help people and businesses manage their finances, Know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Create and advertise the company over the... the five. Number five, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risk. Okay. Financial analysts. So what could be? Five? Yes. You think it's five? Financial analysts. Analyst. Okay. How about number three? What could be an um human resource specialist? Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Especialista de recursos humanos. So which number three? Number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Human resources. Three. So you think this is five, and this is number one, right? So how about let me see uh, the next one, which is digital marketing manager D. Mm, so create and advertise the company over the social media. Media, right? So digital cool. marketing manager. Manager. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, it's four. About, let me see, number five. Number five. Number five is insurance agent. Insurance agent. Agente de seguro. So what is that? E. Mm -hmm. Insurance agent. Agent, agent, agent. 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 Agent, excuse agent. me. Yes. And, the, and the number five is... Insurance agents. Insurance and the number agents. four is analysis, financial analysis. And two, two. Oh, so you want to modify that? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Indeed, it's the opposite. Mm -hmm. So financial analysts is two. Is two. Help people mm -hmm. and business manage their finances. Okay. And the number five is insurance agent. Insurance agent, so that's five. Agent. Okay, agent. And how Check about in. number six? Software 
engineer. Six. Software engineer. Okay. So they are. And <laughs> they, yeah, the bookkeeper is one. Financial analyst is two. Um, number three is human resource specialist. Number four is digital marketing manager. Number five is insurance agent. And number six is software engineer. Entonces, lo vamos leyendo una por una. Bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. Bookkeeper es un contable. Y, no, y lleva Bookkeeper. un registro de qué? De, de las cuentas financieras de la empresa. De la compañía. Ajá, de la empresa, mm -hmm. de la compañía. No, number two. So we have a financial analyst. Un analista financiero ayuda a las personas, a las empresas a administrar sus finanzas. Eso es un financial analyst. El número tres, tenemos human resources specialist. Es este. C, know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Todas van en orden. Entonces, conocen las políticas y regulaciones que involucran el manejo o el, uh, yeah, de, de los empleados. Number four, uh, digital marketing manager. Create crea a un gerente de marketing digital, crea y promueve o publicita la empresa en las redes sociales. Buy, insurance agent, un agente de seguros, ayuda a las personas y las empresas contra, en contra de las pérdidas y financieras y el manejo de, de riesgos. Ok, en the last one, software engineer, software engineer, ingeniero de software, Diseña y desarrolla diferentes softwares. So that is, so there you have the, the six occupations, six new occupations that maybe you didn't know. Entonces hay seis ocupaciones que quizás no conocían hasta el momento y su respectiva definición. Les, les comento esto porque esto va a aparecer en una actividad que van a ver por ahí. Okay. So now we're going to check something uh, related to uh, the listening. So we're going to check this listening first and then we check the one from the book. Entonces vamos a checar ahí el listening que tenemos para hoy. Es uh, related to a routine. So listening skills. Practice interview with uh, some uh, swimmer. Una entrevista con un eh, nadador. Nadador. Ustedes, no sé. Bueno, nadador. Okay. So you have to check your understanding if that is true or false. Yo les comparto el enlace para que lo vayan haciendo también. Y vayan okay. eligiendo. Okay. okay. Ahí, ahí está en el meeting chat. Está ahí en el chat de Zoom. Um, listen again. So do this exercise while you listen. Circle true or false for this, these sentences. Dan gets up early. True or false. He has a small breakfast. True or false. He's a student, true or false. Entonces, ustedes van marcando la que ustedes consideran correcta. Uh, he has lunch at home, true or false. He goes swimming after class, solo una. Recuerden, solo una van a marcar. Dan watches TV and goes on the internet before a bed. So we're going to start with that, okay? Let's uh, play the audio. Let's play the audio. Vamos a poner el audio, chicos, para que lo escuchen. And let me see, here we go, here we go. Hello, Dan. Hi. Can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. So, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock. Wow, that's early. Yeah. Then at eight o'clock, I have a shower, I get dressed and I have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At eleven o'clock, I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from eleven o'clock to four o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about two o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at a cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at seven o'clock. Then I watch TV 
or go online, and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Dan. That's a busy day. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English teams. Okay, listen, do you want to listen that again? Lo escuchamos de nuevo? Do we play it again? Do we play it again? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, so we're going to listen it once more. Hello, Dan. Hi. Can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. So, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yeah. Then at eight o'clock, I have a shower, I get dressed and have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At 11 o'clock, I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at a cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 7 o'clock. Then I watch TV or go online and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Dan. That's a busy day. This recording. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, Dan gets up early, true or false? True. 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 He has a small breakfast, true or false? False. False. Okay, yeah, he true, yeah, yeah, it's a big true. true. Dan has lunch at home. False. 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 Okay, he goes swimming after classes. False. True, true or false? False. false? false. Okay, so we have two uh, true, one true, and two false. We're gonna go with false. Dan watches TV and goes on the internet before bed. True. True. Okay, so now listen. Uh, so we have to fill in the gaps with an activity from the box to complete Dan's delivery. Okay, este, voy a poner el audio nuevamente y ustedes lo tratan de ordenar. Okay. Okay. Well, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yeah. Then at eight o'clock, I have a shower, I get dressed and have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At 11 o'clock, I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at a cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 7 o'clock. Then I watch TV or go online and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Dan. That's a busy day. Okay, guys. So what do you think about the first one? 5 a.m. So which is the activity that he does at 5 a.m.? Good job. Good job. Okay, 6 a.m. Hey, breakfast. And breakfast. 8 o'clock. 
Mm. Go swimming. Go swimming? Okay. Sí, go swimming. 11 a.m. Go to go university. university. 2 p.m. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. 5 p.m. And the last one, have dinner. Have dinner. Do you want to listen to that again or no? So let's mark that. So let's see how well you did it. Uh, wow. Okay, so the first part was okay. The second part, we have two uh, mistakes. So it was the opposite. So maybe we can have a um, look again. So let's listen to this. Hello, Dan. Hi. Can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. So, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yeah, then at eight o'clock I have a shower I get dressed and have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At 11 o'clock, I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at a cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at seven o'clock. Then I watch TV or go online and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Dan. That's a busy day. This recording was brought so as you notice, it was the opposite, right? At six, he go to the pool. No dijo go swimming, sino que dijo go to the pool. Era la piscina. So we can infer that he was go swimming. Go to the pool. So he says, I go to the pool. Esa era la, la información clave que necesitábamos ahí para ubicar el, el go swimming a las seis. So go to the pool. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. We're going to stop here. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. And then you're free to go. So please, a uh, reminder, don't forget to complete the activities from unit number two, okay? Recuerden uh, mantenerse activos en el día con las actividades de la semana dos, okay? Amado Vidal Miranda Llanes. Present. Thanks. Ana Gloria Díaz Santos. Present. Beatriz Azucena Rodríguez Sánchez. Present. Brian Amilcar Cortés Portillo. Present. Carlos Antonio Vázquez Reyes. Present. Carmen María Santos. Present. Carolina Astri Cibrián Lozano. Daisy Carolina Acevedo López. Present. Elni Yamilet Marquez Marquez. Present. Erika Lisset Ramírez Díaz. Present. Gerardo Alexander Ibáñez Romero. Present. Glenda Esmeralda Cruz Aguilar. Present. Aide Guadalupe Revelano de Peña. Héctor Antonio Cartagena Miranda. Present. Katia Elena Pulacho Anaya. Present. Sheila Abigail Alvarado López. Sofía Margarita Torres Hernández. Present. Present. Thanks, Sheila. Vanessa Heroína Mexicano Arias. Present. And Jacqueline Lisette Dera Ramos. Present. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow at... Um, Sí. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. ¿A quién? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Nelson. Nelson no lo mencionó. No. <ríe> ok, vamos. Nelson. Ok, me lo saté. Nelson Atilio Ayala León. Present. Ok, gracias, Nelson. Listo. Bueno.
Ok, so, sí, tomorrow alguien me preguntaba ahí que la actividad uno no tiene, eh, ¿qué actividad uno sería, Sheila? Me indica. ¿Te gusta? Mándame captura de pantalla, Sheila, para que la vayamos revisando. Ok, guys, see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night. 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 Bye. 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 Gigi ya está dormida, hija. <risa>